So happy early Sunday morning, people. Oh. <laughs> it is 7.19 a.m. Sunday morning. We are headed to a muscle car museum in Salem, Oregon, which we were supposed to go to with the son-in-law and daughter. Daughter has COVID. She still tests positive. Son-in-law is negative. Right Cut that part out so y'all don't know where I live. Anyway, <laughs> um, probably. Um, anyway, he's negative and um, he's going to be cautious and wear a mask today. He's annoying. Um, he's going to be cautious and wear a mask today and everything, but we're going to go ahead, the three of us, and go to the museum. Um, Becca, of course, can't go because she's still positive and hacking up a lung. So, you know, there's that. Um, but... Okay, we are at the Brothers Car Museum in Salem, Oregon. I believe that's what it's called. I'll put any contact information for them down below. Um, this is a pretty cool place. If you like cars, interesting vehicle. Like this is a cool, my dad would love this place. It is, I think by invitation only. Um, but again, I'll put their information down below. We're gonna walk around with the group in a minute and look at everything. I was just inside using the restroom. Um, it's huge, much bigger. There's a whole other room over that way. Anyway, um, I'm gonna see if I can get some cool pictures. Look at this one. It's pretty cool. All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. Are we ready? Are we ready? <sighs> it's not yellow. I'm so happy. Uh, anyway, um, I it is Monday morning. It is March 28th. Yeah, 10, 10 a.m. I have edited a video for the patrons and supporters in their private YouTube channel. It is saving right or rendering right now. And then I'll get that uploaded today. Next will be the weekly vlog, which I'll edit next. And then I also have to do the writing for this week's social media posts. Um, I already created the mood board for Moody Monday, which has to post next week. Hopefully I remember to post it, like not like last month. Holy cow. Anyway, so we have all that to do and I have some drawing I wanna do, um, especially now that I have nice light. So happy. Um, I also am going to rearrange a couple closets up here um, today because I need to make them work more uh, efficiently, wisely, all the things. So anyway, uh, normal, ordinary Monday. We're supposed to do a sort of family birthday cel dinner celebration with all four of the kids tomorrow night. But because the daughter's had COVID, even though she's feeling better now, I don't know if she's testing negative yet. I don't know if she's tested yet today or if she's going to wait until tomorrow. Um, I, in either case, I'm not sure if it's we're going to need to postpone. I don't know. So I guess we'll find out. Um, it's kind of sunny-ish out, uh, a little bit warm. It's nice. Nice spring day. And yeah, other than a counseling appointment and seeing what's up with the daughter and her COVID plague, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think it's going to be a quiet week, which I'm not mad about. So. Anyway, all right, let's get that closet done. I'll be back. Okay, <clears throat> I got the two closets purged and rearranged, so now all of my 
organization empty bins and things are in the hall linen closet along with yes linens and um, some decor which is what it should be and then the big walk-in closet in the spare bedroom upstairs it's kind of a second master anyway um, that is just memorabilia paperwork baby, Becca's baby stuff that sort of thing and then we have this pile here to let go of um, and one of the girls has already claimed that little pile over there with a the green bag. So uh, I've had that green bag a really long time. I also haven't used it in a really long time. It's time for it to go. So anyway, I'm waiting to hear from the rest of the kids about the other stuff and then we'll see if they either want it or somebody else does. I don't know. Um, so that's all done. Garb. I had one and a half bags of garbage. Because, you know, I have to save every, like, plastic box. And... Anyway, so that's all gone away. And now, and the video, the first video is saved, rendered. So now I can do the second one, the vlog, <clears throat> and while I drink my bone broth, and then write the posts. <sighs> and then go have lunch before I have to finish laundry and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be a busy Monday. I'll be back. Okay, that was so great. I just spent like three hours at the art desk under the new light, which is great, sketching and chatting with my friend Leslie McGrath. That was such a good time. I got um, one video loaded and the other one is loading um, and I'm going to write all the posts for the Facebook groups right now. I got the Google document for the supporters updated and then schedule all the posts out for the Facebook groups. And then once this other video is loaded, we are done up here and I can turn the dang computer off. Yeah, that's a good thing. I'll be back. Hey guys, good morning. I think it's still morning, hold on. Yes, 10.30 a.m. Tuesday, March 29th. Um, we're supposed to go out to dinner with all four of the kids to celebrate Jenny's birthday and Polyus's birthday. But that's going to depend on whether uh, number one daughter is still sick with COVID or not. And if she tests positive, we'll see. Um, so that might get postponed. I don't know. Anyway, I woke up this morning with a neck ache. For those that don't know, I was in a car accident with somebody who ran a red light back in 1993, late 93, early 94. Maybe early 94. It was a long time ago. Anyway, occasionally my neck acts acts up and I woke up this morning with it bothering me I've been doing some stretching exercises and things I really dislike taking pain medication <clears throat> so I'm trying to avoid doing that but it, yeah it's it's better than when I woke up but it's been bugging me so anyway here it is it, it cracks since the car accident so anyway I must have slept on it weird Anyway, I am going to put some art tools away and then I'm going to prep another journal for sort of this Rorschach test style doodling journal I was working on recently that I finished. Um, I'll show you. I started this journal a long time ago. And I covered all of the pages with like ink spills and I did that one. Let's see. Okay. So with ink spills and things, and then I would try to, I would draw on top of it. I, I actually did the whole book and then went back after it was dry and draw, drew on it. Now at first when I was doing the drawings, I would sort of, force them into a shape or just draw a shape, which is fine. But then I realized that one of the reasons it went literally for years without being finished was because I just wasn't feeling that. And then I decided to start drawing what I saw in the shape of the ink on the page. Sort of like when you do a Rorschach test with the ink blobs. And then I started coming up with more things like this. That was very therapeutic for me. And um, I enjoyed the process. Um, so I think I'm going to, 
I think I'm going to do that again. This time I happen to have a whole bunch of coffee that I made up to do some dyeing on another project and I've got a bunch left over. So I have, and I have an extra journal. And so um, this is a traveler's notebook style one. And I think it's one, yeah, it's got sort of calendar. Can you see that page isn't it? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, today work on coffee staining all the pages in this. And then when that dries, I'll do uh, drawings in it and I'll take it downstairs. I also need to put all of these away because they're dry and maybe work on some watercolor sketching in this bag. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to do a couple more neck exercises first. <laughs> and, um, Okay, got some yard work done, got the bulbs planted, got some weeds pulled, got the deer corn bowl filled, <laughs> um, got some stuff we've purged into the back of the car. I gave a couple of things to the neighbors um, for their girls and or them to use that they thought they could use. I'm going to water said bulbs now. I also washed out a couple of the old dog dishes. I'm gonna put one or two of them out with w just water in it for the neighborhood dogs when they come by. Um, there's quite a few of us neighbors that leave um, bowls of water out for the pets. Um, it does get kind of hot and yeah. So anyway, I'm going to take care of all that. Next. Next. Okay. I just spent a couple of hours, I think, re reorganizing some watercolor palettes because I had ones I wasn't using and I just reorganized them in a way to sort of force me to use some of the paints. At least that's the theory behind it. So there are these very large plastic palettes that you can get at Amazon. And let me show you. Looks like this. Um, I'll put the link down below. And oh, okay, it comes with this pre-made 33 well tray inserted in it and also it has a mixing tray that you can take out so i usually take both of these out and then i use um glue or that sticky putty stuff you'd think i'd be more prepared but no anyway um i use this lock tight fun tack um molding mounting putty it works actually really well um when I'm not sure that the color arrangement's gonna stay the way I put it in here, especially, or if I ever feel like I'm gonna need to move them around, the putty is great because you can actually, it will hold them, but it won't, you can take them off. So, but if I used E6000, they'd be on there forever. So anyway, I took a bunch of little small pocket palettes I had, different brands. There's Sennelier in here. There is Mary Blue in here. There is some um, Van Gogh, I think, in here. Uh, there's a bunch of different brands in here. Uh, I think there's some Quar. Anyway, and I put them all together. And to, into this arrangement, I took apart and Frankensteined all of the color swatches and made the one big color swatch in the order the paints are in. And then anything that was too much of a duplicate, I bag with its associated swatch. I used to have up here, I had these, and then these obviously were all here. These are my like sort of water soluble graphite, but I used to have a lot of these small pocket palettes and I had actually two of these big palettes. These are my schminky paints, but I had two of these that just had random stuff in it. Besides about four or five more of these small ones, I decided that was just ridiculous because there were paints up here I was just never going to use. And so I got rid of the extra metal palettes that I didn't need. I just want to keep the schminky by itself and then these graphite ones are kind of messy. So I'm going to keep them by themselves. Everything else is, these are, so when I want to just work on like metallic paints or I want to just do muted palette. So these are like specific ones um, over here, which works fine. Um, otherwise, I just want my Daniel Smith palette, the mixed palette that we just made and then schminky. And th th this is going to work. So, um, 
So we have this, and especially when I have people over here painting with me, this is a palette that I can give them to use, and um, they can try a bunch of different brands and play with watercolor paints and see if they like it. Now, I usually don't put this thing back in because I don't really use this. I will save it for a little while and see if I use it as a mixing palette or something. I don't know. But anyway, now this one will go over here. The other thing, too, is this consolidates the palettes down so there's not as many over here. So I can actually find what I need when I need it. So now we have the three bays of palettes. Much easier. At least that's the theory. So we're going to go with it. Anyway, that was a fun project. A little bit messy, but it was good. So now I'm going to turn the lights off and shut down, clean up, go downstairs, sit and have some water while I wait for... Bob to get off of work, and then we're gonna go for a walk, I think, before we go have dinner. And since the kids are, uh, well, kids, one kid. She's still, you know, sick with the plague. <laughs> um, we're not going out with them to celebrate any birthdays, so we'll just stay home. We have food here, so we'll just stay home and have dinner. I've got some avocados I need to eat. So anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I think it's just about time of the year to put the window screens back up. We took them down for the holidays and didn't put them back, but I kind of like to open the windows. So I think the next house project, if I don't get to it before the weekend, this weekend will be to put the window screens back because, yeah. All right, that's it for right now. I'll be the holiday house has done it again. So cute. morning everybody it's 9 59 a.m wednesday march 30th we need to go run a couple of errands i need to check the peel box because i think it's been two weeks not that there's probably anything in there because y'all don't send me happy mail <laughs> you don't have to but if you want to i have a peel box the address is down below anyway um i also need to go get some gift wrap and i need to Maybe go by Target and Goodwill. We shall see. I have a bunch of little kids in my life. Neighbor kids, niece, grand nephews, great nephews, great nephews, and stuff. And I love to buy them books. And the best way to do that is at the thrift shops. So I try to go at least a couple times a month and go see what I can find. It seems like most of them that are about four years old like Paw Patrol and until I we had Paxton in our life, our great nephew, I didn't know what Paw Patrol was. So yeah, so anyway, um, the little girls next door like Paw Patrol too. So anyway, um, we are going to go see what we can see, get out of the house a little bit. I need to do a piece of art for it a son-in-law. Well, I don't need to, I want to. He doesn't have any idea I'm doing it. And um, I, want to try to get, I want to try to get that done today if I can. Tomorrow is counseling. And that means that in the morning I can get stuff done, but afterwards I'm going to be a useless blob because I'm usually just completely useless afterwards. Emotionally useless. I think that's probably fairly normal. The session's only an hour long, but the after effects of working through things are just, yeah, it takes me a good 12 hours to get past it. So anyway, overall, it's not shaping up to be a bad week. Although Paxton and my, our niece and her husband um, and everything except I think Paxton's baby brother all have the flu because Paxton brought it home from preschool. <laughs> so the birthday party is being rescheduled from this weekend to I think the weekend afterwards. Hopefully they're all better by then. But yeah, lots of stuff going on and you know.
Okay, so I spent the last few hours working on a piece of artwork for the son-in-law for his birthday, um, which we're celebrating his and Jenny's birthday on this coming Saturday. As long as Rebecca doesn't still have the plague. But anyway, um, um, I did a piece for him. He is, um, as is my husband, very into vintage cars and fixing them up. Um, Y'all know Bob has a 1973 Plymouth Barracuda. So anyway. Um, Polyus has a Mustang, aka Dolores. She's kind of a pile of scrap metal at the moment, but he's working on it. Anyway, someday she may look something similar to that. So I did that for him for his office. Hopefully he likes it. But we'll see, I don't know. Anyway, all right, I'm going to clean up my mess and get on to the next thing. I'll be back. All right, we're out for our evening walk. I got a couple of more kids' books at the Goodwill today. It was half off to a certain color, and then I got senior discount, so they were pretty inexpensive. And we took two of them and took them to the library box down at the park near here and left them there. I do that periodically. Um, anyway, we're gonna get a few more steps in and head towards home. And have some dinner because yeah <sighs> we have to eat, send out a couple of text messages i think to the kids to find out some details about a couple things this weekend so yeah all right i'll be back there's ducks somewhere over there there's three more over there oops there we are I don't know if there's any in the water, but oh, four. There's one hiding. Good morning, everybody. It is March 31st. It's 10.50 a.m. Um, I'm going to run out really quick and, well, not really quick necessarily, but anyway, we're going to run out and I've got three big bags of donations in the back of the car because I've been spring cleaning and getting rid of things and whatever I can't pass on to the family that they can use then I donate it to one of the charity shops so we're gonna go donate said items to said charity shops this morning. okay it's just before 2 30 in the afternoon it is a beautiful day out apparently cloudy nice and sunny not too hot not too cold had a nice little chat with the neighbor cat and her daughter Berkeley they're sitting on the front porch doing some drawing and uh, doing a great job. And anyway, I'm gonna go get some stuff in now and see if the ducks are in the pond and yeah, enjoy some fresh air and being mindful of what I need today post counseling, which I've been feeling that way for a few weeks now. And I just found out today that that's normal and a good, good sign. I'm glad because I was worried it was not a good sign. <laughs> I'm pretty much useless the rest of the day after counseling and I need to, I've found that I need to just have a chill, quiet day and do what I'm really feeling up to doing and taking care of myself and being mindful of myself. And I told her that today. She said, oh good, that's very normal and a good sign. I'm glad it is. But anyway, I think we're going to work on a new art therapy practice on the channel coming up. I was speaking to her about it today. And um, I'm not a therapist, licensed or otherwise. I am not a mental health professional by any stretch, but I will show you all what I do for myself and what works for me. And if you want to try it, by all means, go ahead and share it. Um, but if you are struggling with your mental health, there is no shame in seeking out help seeking a professional to help you, a doctor, a counselor, medication, whatever works for you, do that, okay? All right, I'm gonna go get some steps in, take some pictures maybe of this tree. I wanna I'll say, if I haven't said before, now that I'm on medication and in therapy, I'm realizing there are a few things I've done historically to self-medicate, for lack of a better term. Drinking is one of them, although I wasn't an alcoholic. I did probably drink more than I should have, especially in my 20s. Overeating, 
definitely did that up until a couple years ago. Um, overspending on things I didn't really need. I no longer feel the need to do any of those. And I'm shocking myself at making that statement. Feels pretty good though, I gotta say. All right, more steps. I'll be good morning, back. everybody. I don't think I've vlogged yet today. It is 11.01 a.m. <clears throat> Friday, April 1st, April Fool's Day. Um, anyway, I've just been up doing chores and I filmed the first part of the first video of a new series here for YouTube. Um, patrons and supporters will get more detailed videos and explanations. Um, but you all are going to get some video. Um, and yeah, what am I trying to say? I don't know. If you want to get the longer videos, the more detailed videos, you can become a patron or supporter. It's not super expensive. The link is down in my link tree list of links down below and or the video description. Anyway, and that chime you heard is the washing machine because I'm doing laundry. I did the dishes. All the things for the things because of the things. We are um, going to go out and support my daughter and, and her business. She's a realtor, FYI. If you're in the Portland, Oregon area and you need a realtor, I got one. Um, I'll leave her contact info down below. Anyway, we're going to go support her. She's having an open house thing at the office where she works today. Um, so we're going to go do that later. Um, we're going to meet... Um, all of the kids and son-in-law's parents for dinner tomorrow to celebrate Polyus's birthday and Jenny's birthday. And I've got a pile of gifts over here for all the birthdays. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a fun weekend. I don't know what else to say about that. Um, not su anything super exciting, I don't think. I mean, you know, we might do Besides chores, maybe we'll see an interesting estate sale or something. I am looking for one of these like sewing boxes. I'll put a picture here. Um, kind of, I just would like to have it to put my downstairs drawing stuff in or something. But they are like ridiculously expensive. People want a stupid amount of money for them. So yeah, I'm, it's a good thing I'm not in a big hurry. Anyway, I am going to change the laundry, put it in the dryer. And I'm going to sit and read for a bit before I get on to the next chore. So anyway, it's a thing. I don't know what to say. I'll be back. Yes, I did something with my hair. Is it good? I don't know, but it's something. I'll be back. here to do this because they're playing music inside but anyway we are at Caldwell Banker in Newburgh Oregon for those that don't know my daughter's a realtor and they're having open house so we came down to support and meet everybody um, they're gonna have these open houses once a month and they're for prospective clients current clients former clients whatever um, they have their loan officer here they've got um, home inspectors here a bunch of people so anyway I'll put their contact information down below check it out all right, I'll be back. Very noisy. Good morning, everybody. Obviously, we're in the car. It is 9.56 a.m. Saturday, April 2nd. It is the son-in-law's birthday. Everybody tell him happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Polyus. Anyway. Did you say happy birthday on Facebook? I did. Um, we're going to go out and run errands. Do our usual Saturday morning thing and go out and get groceries and run errands. Um pick up prescriptions and all of that stuff. The debate of the day though is, what is the one thing that's gonna be out of stock today? Last week it was mayonnaise. The, the, week, big mayonnaise. the week before that was light bulbs. <laughs> so I like just no idea. Every week it's different and it's been that way through COVID and Obviously, the supply chain's not fixed yet because, yeah, every week it's a different thing. 
So I don't know, we'll let you know. Sometimes it's pasta, there's literally no pasta. Of course, at the beginning, no toilet paper, but you know. I don't know, we'll see this week. How many stores will it take us to get the whole list? I don't know. And will there be something we can't find? I guess we'll find out. All right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Yes, I curled my hair. We're going out to dinner later. I also have to put makeup on at some point. Anyway, I am updating all the tablets because iOS update again. Um, we've been home for a little bit. We had some lunch and um, we're working on the spring cleaning list, you know, so changing the smoke alarm batteries, vacuuming behind the dryer, cleaning out the dryer vent. Uh, um, cleaning the dish, well, we do that more than just spring cleaning, but running a cleaning cycle in the dishwasher, cleaning out the dishwasher disposal, um, all those things. So anyway, we're doing all of that before we go to dinner tonight. Um, Bob's added a couple more things to the list. Um, he's also um, going to be vacuuming out the car, I think. Um, <laughs> We had it cleaned. It's already got a, uh, a layer of pollen on it again because you know it's spring in Oregon. Okay, and we are home after having dinner with all the all four of the kids and the uh, Polyus's mom, Becca's in-laws. Um, anyway, it was Polyus's birthday, so we were celebrating. So Is that it? Becca's mother-in-law. Becca's mother. There we go. Light, hey. So anyway, we've had a good week. We hope you've had a good week. We're going to go get some more stuff tomorrow, do some shopping. That's in next week's vlog. Anyway, check out the video description for relevant links. Ways to support the free content here on YouTube. They're all down there. Some in, are in my link tree list of links. Check it out. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. Join my Facebook group. All the things for the things because of the things. All right. That's it this week. Go out. Have a good day. Have a good week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.